Okay, in this uh, first proportion question, we have a string, uh, a spring rather, with tension t, which we're told is directly proportional to the extension of the spring x. Um, so let's just put that into symbols. Okay, t is equal to k times x. That's the standard relationship for direct proportion. Um, and we're going to use uh, this information here, that when t is 150, uh, x is 6. We can use that to find the value of k. So we'll substitute in t equals 150 and x equals 6 into our equation. And we'll see what we get. So that gives us 150 is equal to uh, k times 6, so 6k. Um, and therefore, just to find k, we divide by 6. Um, so k is equal to 150 divided by 6, which is 25. And um, that's not quite the end of the question because we're asked to find a formula. So we want to have t equals something x. Um, so t equals kx and k is 25. So t equals 25x. OK, part b, we want to find the tension. So we want t when we're given the extension. So this is a standard way to use this formula. We'll substitute x equals 15 into the formula that we've just derived. So t is going to be equal to 25 times 15. So do that multiplication and the tension is equal to 375 newtons. We're given the units in the question. Finally, um, the classic part c to this sort of question is going to be using the formula in reverse. We want to know x when we are given t. And the start of it is just the same. We substitute in the values that we know. So we put t equals 600 into the equation. It gives me 600 is equal to 25x. And we simply solve to find x, um, in this case by dividing by 25. So x is 600 divided by 25, which is 24, and the units are centimetres. OK, the next question. We are told the shutter speed, s, of a camera varies inversely. So that's the same as saying is inversely proportional to the square of f. OK, so let's build this up into a formula, s. And because it's inversely proportional to, it's k over, not k times, k over. And we mustn't forget that it's the square of f. So k over f squared. And like in question 24, we're going to use the information that we've been given substitute it into this formula to find the value of k. So let's put f equals 8 and s equals 125 into this formula that we've just written down. And so we get 125 is equal to k over 8 squared. Often for these questions you get big values of k, and this is no exception. We multiply by 8 squared to get k on its own, so multiply by 64. 125 times 64 is 8,000. So that's what k is, but we want a formula for s. So you want s equals um, k over f squared. So now it is f equals um, s equals 8,000 over f squared. And there is our answer to part a. Part b, hence or otherwise, calculate the value of s when f equals 4. So we need to put the value of f equals 4 into formula that we've just come up with. So s is 8,000 divided by 4 squared, 8,000 divided by 16, and this comes to 500. And that's it.